Uh, James Harden. Uh, uh, uh. The Beerus. The Broski. Come on, man. How you doing, James? How's family? Good guy. Hope you enjoyed your trip to London. Step back, King. With us. We enjoyed it with you. How was Morley's? Shout us. Obviously, young recommendation from your boys. Best chicken shop in the world. Yo, what is up, you two? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And for those who have not read the title just yet, today we're taking a look at the Adidas Harden Volume 4s. Let's get it. First of all, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball if you would like your pair of the Harden Volume 4s or anything basketball related, yep. head over to the description box below, click the link to the Pro Direct Basketball website where well, they will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Comment down below your thoughts on the Harden Volume 4. And of course, hit that beautiful subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. James Harden is arguably one of the most dangerous men on planet Earth with a basketball in his hands. Some of you may know him as the Step Back King. Yep. The Beard. Yep. We actually got the chance to meet James Harden this summer and it was an incredible experience. Man. He's an absolutely amazing guy, legend. down to earth legend. Facts. It's actually quite scary yeah. talking to somebody who you know is a killer on the court, yep. but he's yep. talking to you just like so normally, cool. so calm, so. Like he ain't killed Don. Do you know what I'm saying? Mad actually. But the Harden line has been one of the most consistent basketball lines, especially for Adidas basketball. Facts. And today, obviously, we have the Harden Volume 4 in hand. Low key, I feel like this shoe is made for the step back move. Ooh, let's I'll get, get into, into that it. a little bit more throughout the video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting things off with our favorite part of the shoe, it's the materials. Now here in the Harden Volume 4, we've got a few materials. We do. We have suede, we have mesh, we have leather and some elastic as well. Yeah. And they all do their thing in the most amazing ways. Yes. With suede, we've got that durability, but it's also very soft, which some might say adds to weight, yeah. but it doesn't seem to do that too much in the Harden, which Not is at all. epic. The mesh is breathable, it's light, it's flexible, and it's exactly where you need it on the tongue and across the forefoot as well. We actually have elastic in the midfoot, which actually helps with lockdown and fit, which we'll talk about more in a minute, yeah. which actually is very, very stretchy, but also quite snug and tight at the same time, but yep. we'll go more of it in a second. And leather, which is part of the adaptive lacing system, which also helps it fit yep. and does the absolute trick. All the materials come together in the best possible way and just felt amazing on foot. 100%. You know what? The Harden line is quite expensive. I'm very happy that we have some premium materials Facts. and they look and feel premium too. Yep, yep. I mean, you're getting, you know, the bang for your buck. Yeah, so yep. that's, that's definitely a plus with this shoe. Huge plus. Now, initially out of the box, the shoe was very, very tight. I think that comes from that elastic band across yep. the midfoot. But once you start hooping, I'm not even talking like 30 minutes in. Nah, Two that. minutes in, you don't feel it at all. Great material. And it's arguably the most comfortable Harden I've hooped in so far. I hear that. And we've been through a few of them. Yeah. And they've all been really comfortable. So for yeah. me to say that, they're doing something really it's well. A lot. It's so a I guess lot. with all of that being said, the materials come out at a nine out of 10. Yup. Great materials, premium, extremely comfortable. What more do you want? Next up, talking about fit. Now this actually surprised me mm -hmm. because the shoe fitted really, really well. Very well. Obviously we spoke about those premium materials and what's actually amazing about it is that the lace loops are on each part of those premium materials. We have a Thanks. lace loop um, on the forefoot, which is attached to the mesh. We have a lace loop on that elastic band and then obviously three lace loops, adjustable lace loops on those leather parts on the outside and inside part of the shoe as well. I mean, it is all going on, bro. It's kicking off. Not only is the shoe true to size. Not only. You also have an adaptive lacing system that is attached to each part of the materials. So it's crazy. It feels really, really nice. And then the materials do their thing again. Come on. Soft materials on your foot. It's going to add to the fit. Mate. It's a great fitting shoe. It's a really great fitting shoe. Really great fitting. So if we had to give it a score? Another 9 out of 10. Another 9 out of 10. Quit playing. Quit, Quit playing. playing. 
And you want a great fitting shoe. You need a great shoe. Especially when you're bringing that step back out your bag. The shoe needs to be there. The, 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 it needs to be locked in. It needs to be locked in. You get me? Ha, ha. <laughs> Next up, talking about the cushioning. And hey, it's light strike. Strike lightning. I mean, normally the hardens have always been boost. Yes. And now it's light strike. We move on. We move. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah, we, we, we evolve. We evolve. We move yeah. on to bigger and better things. And in this case, it's Light Strike. And it did the absolute trick. I loved it. Amazing. It's built so, so well where you've got definitely more in the heel, yeah. which is where you might get your impact protection or your heel straps as you run. Yeah. But then a little less in the forefoot for that court feel, but still giving you a cozy, comfortable sensation under your foot. It's so responsive. It actually banged. I love them. Blow what you tell them. Bro, again, you know, back to my point about the shoe, I feel like it's low-key made for the step back. Talk to him. The cushioning system reflects that. Yeah. You have so much court feel in the, in the forefoot and a lot more impact protection in the heel. Yeah. And it just makes you feel like you're walking on clouds, Oof. but at the same time, you that your toes, you can feel the floor. I, I know I'm spitting words right now, right? <laughs> but I hope you guys, the only way you can understand what I'm truly saying is if you try these on they and play in these. There you go, there you go. The court feel in these is incredible. They are really is. good. So it's almost a preference thing. What do you prefer? We're talking step backs in a way James plays. This may be a force issue yeah. for you. So it's a gripe, but it's not really a gripe. It's not really a gripe at all. Honest. James Harden isn't a high flyer. Mm -hmm. You know, he, like you said, his game is quite grounded, so he doesn't need impact protection that much. True. But he still gets it yeah. without sacrificing any court field. Yeah. Amazing. Nine out of ten cushioning. There you go then. What more do you want? What more? I told you the shoe is made for the step back. Step back king. That's it. Step back crep. There you go. Next up, talking about support. But like I've mentioned a couple times now, I feel like the shoe is made for the step back. So keeping that in mind. The support comes from the outrigger shape, all right? And now it's a really wide outrigger shape. Really wide. Which provides you with some amazing lateral support. Yep. We have the overall fit of the shoe, which comes from obviously the materials and that elastic band Big. and the adaptive lacing Big. system. It's all going on. Yeah. We also yeah. have an external TPU heel counter that's also protected by the cushioning system. So what more do you really want? Yes, the shoe isn't a high top, but you don't need it to be a high I top. I wouldn't say so. I mean, me, I'm more of a high top guy, as I've always said. However, when I put these on, I felt super locked in. My foot was wrapped up and it felt fantastic. Yes, there's no angle coverage, but I pretty much didn't really think about it. It is a fantastically supportive shoe, even for a low top. And that brings me to my last point, the mental aspect, of mental course. support, That's right? It feeling like you're supported. Yep. And that is, again, something the shoe provides, along with everything else. There you go. So it's a really good supportive shoe, and we're giving it an eight out of 10. There you go. In order to get a nine or 10 out of 10 for support, you need to at least be high top. At least. You gotta be, you gotta have maybe six, seven straps on there. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, right, second, but this is as good as it gets for a Disregard that second one. As long as there's some ankle coverage, you might be able to get that 9 and 10. I don't know why you're talking about six or seven straps. Maybe eight straps. That's why it's going up. All right, cool. Lastly, talking about the traction. Over here at Pure Kicks, we're calling this the grid paper traction pattern. Because it looks like grid paper. Math grids. Math grids, in fact. How did it perform? I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, right? Why did I really enjoy it? The grid paper kind of acts like suction. Mm. And yes. I felt like I was sticking to the floor yeah. on mo especially my setbacks. Setback shoe. I was sticking, I felt like I was sucking to the floor. It was it was lit. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. How about yourself? Now, I really enjoyed it as well. Yes. It's just on really dusty quartz, that suction does attract a bit of dusk. I hear what you mean. But what the mean. shoe is a white friendly shoe. White right? friendly. Now what I, what I mean by white friendly. What do you mean by white friendly? There's a play stop, whatever, and you wipe your shoe yep. to get some clean traction. That's right. Some shoes require an aggressive wipe. Aggressive. Some multiple. shoes require multiple wipes. Yes, true. Some shoes, even if you wipe it once, you what, you've probably removed 60% of the dust. Yeah, that's not all of it. You, then you, this you shoe wipe. removes 100% of the dust, bro. White friendly. It is white friendly. I hear what you mean. So that's all it is, really. This grid paper acts as both suction and kind of dust pockets, yep. but it's white friendly. So for that reason, 
Eight out of ten traction. Eight out of ten. I personally think it bangs, regardless. And outdoors. I'll take him outdoors too. I'll take him outdoors too. I would definitely take him outdoors. Thanks. So you're good. Now, taking all the scores into consideration, the Harden Volume 4's, aka the Step Back Shoe of yep. the Year, gets an 8.6 out of 10. Come on. I mean, it really comes from everything. Yeah. Everything really did its trick. However, that material, that fit, yep. that cushion, yeah. mad thing. Yeah. Traction and support did their thing as well, but those top three, absolute mad thing. In my opinion, this is the best low top shoe I've ever put on. Mm. I'm not a low top don. Mm. It's a big sentence, I know it is. Mm. I don't really put too many low tops on, but this is the one if I'm picking a low top. Wow. In a very long time. I love this shoe. You heard it here first. What now? From the man himself. Yeah, you did. What happens next? What happens next is you go to Product Basketball, yeah. yeah, you click the link in the description box below Indeed. to their website. That's right. And you purchase these. And you try it on. That's and you see what we're talking about. And you find out what we're talking about, right? We only talk facts on this channel, you know that. Come on, this is hoopers talking. Hoopers we're not talking. just people who like basketball, we love basketball, but we hoop. We play, we've been busy, we've been in the lab. Don't worry about how long videos might take sometimes because we're hooping. We're trying. That's it. Our best. And for all those reasons, like this video, comment down below your thoughts on the Harden Volume 4, and of course hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video, whether that be our performance reviews, our comparisons, us hooping and dunking like we do. So right guys, there you have it. This is the Adidas Harden Volume 4. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. And we can dunk. What other YouTubers you know can dunk? Hmm? I think there's a few of them. Which ones? Which other YouTubers that review crap like we do can dunk? Which ones? Pick, say one. Huh? Exactly. Don't worry, I'll wait. That's actually a great shout. All right then.